I think a lot of the friendships that I've built over the last few years, um, you know, I think that one of the, the greatest things about Harvard, um, you know, obviously playing a sport here and, and taking classes here and, and learning so much in the classroom is, is great, but I think one of the, the most important things is um, really the takeaways you get from the people you meet. Um, you know, I think that you know, there are people from, from all over the world and from pretty much every state here in the United States and I think that the more, um, the more exposure someone gets to, to different backgrounds and different opinions, um, I think that that helps mold someone into, uh, into, um, into a, a good person and, and someone that you know, respects um, the ideas and the opinions of other people and is open to discussion about those type of things. So I think looking back, you know, the friendships and, and the people I've met are really an important piece of the last four years. Um, and something that I hope to, you know, I hope to maintain those friendships um, for the rest of my life. I mean, it, was, it was really important to me, um, and I think, I think that I can speak um, for all my teammates, especially the seniors, when I say that, um, you know, all of us growing up playing baseball, um, going to Major League Baseball games and Major League Parks, I think that all of us, um, you know, dream as kids to, to be in that position someday to, to play at the highest level. Um, but at the same time, I think that you know, focusing on academics is a crucial part of someone's life. I think that you really need that balance um, between being a good student and a good athlete. And because I always, I always like to say that even if you're at the the top of your game playing Major League Baseball, um, you know, you're probably going to be done by age 35. And um, I think that it's important to to really consider the next 50 years of your life after baseball, um, you know, when, when making a decision like coming to an institution like Harvard and, uh, you know, some people are fortunate enough to play a lot longer than others, but um, I think that, you know, my teammates and I, um, you know, we really strike a good balance between, you know, wanting, uh, wanting that, that top tier baseball as well as, you know, focusing on academics um, because of the fact that you know, baseball doesn't last forever and, and eventually we have to stop playing and I think that, you know, striking that balance between academics and, and, uh, and sports is, is really crucial in one's life and I think that that's one of the main, um, you know, main reasons that, um, you know, Harvard has, has meant so much to us over the past four years. Yeah, the home run at Fenway was uh, definitely one of the highlights of my, my college career. Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, being from the Boston area, and I've probably been been to close to 100 Red Sox games over the years, and um, you know, obviously that's a, that's an iconic wall, um, you know, throughout baseball. And um, you know, I was just really fortunate to be able to to get back in the lineup after an injury um, where I missed nine games. And uh, I, I'll be honest with you, hitting a home run was the last thing I was expecting, um, but it, it was nice. Um, I'm glad that I'm glad that I was able to have some family and friends there and uh, and be able to see that and. Um, I think that that's definitely uh, one of the, the takeaways from, from the last four years is being able to have that experience and, and uh, have that memory for the rest of my life.